When it comes to probate, one of the most emotional issues is what happens to the remains of a loved one when they have passed away. Who gets to make the decisions? Typical example, mom has died and the kids are fighting over where mom should be buried, whether we should have a funeral, whether we should have cremation, and many other kinds of issues that relate to taking care of the remains of the loved one. This kind of situation is one of the most unpleasant and emotional issues that can come up when a loved one dies. Because it has come up many times in the past, the Minnesota Legislature has established rules to help avoid these conflicts among Minnesota families. Under the law, the highest priority is in a written document signed by the loved one. He or she can designate the person to make the decisions about what happens to that person's body. This written document can be a will, a health care directive, or other written instructions. A power of attorney cannot be used for this designation. If the deceased person did not leave written instruction, then there is a hierarchy of family members who are given the authority to decide what should happen to the body of the loved one. First of all, the spouse of the deceased person gets to make the decision. If there is no surviving spouse, then the child or children of the decedent can make the decisions. Now if there are no children, then the parents of the deceased person have the authority to decide. Next, the brothers or sisters can get the call. From there, the grandchildren of the decedent and then the grandparents get the power to decide. After that come nephews or nieces and then the guardian of the decedent if one has been appointed. The tenth priority goes to a person who has shown what the law calls special care and concern for the person before he or she died. After that, the more remote relatives and a public agency can possibly decide. If there is a dispute about who gets to make the decisions, any of the family members or a funeral director can ask the district court to rule on who should decide. Funeral directors or morticians generally cannot be sued for their good faith judgments if they are relying on the statements of family members. When family members understand how the decision is made about what will happen to mom or dad's body, then an emotional argument can be avoided and the family can concentrate on the grieving process and the important adjustment that must be made after the death of a loved one. I'm Bill Peterson. I'd like to help you on all of the important issues in the probate process. Please feel free to give me a call toll free at 1-888-910-5297. I look forward to talking to you soon.